So Kokri Cot has got to be my favorite building mod for Minecraft. And after seeing how much you guys liked my TikTok about it, I thought I should make a YouTube video going more in depth on the mod and all of its contents that I wasn't able to show. And in the end, I'll make a new addition to these buildings. But first, let me explain what Kokricot is all about. Kokricot is a mod and resource pack for Minecraft Java Edition. The resource pack is available for versions 1.16.1, 1.12.2, 1.10.2, and 1710. And the mod is only available for version 1.12.2. And for those of you who play on Bedrock, it says on the FAQ page that they are currently in the process of creating a Bedrock version. So this is what the resource pack looks like in-game in comparison to vanilla Minecraft. It has a very realistic style to it and it has more muted colors. And here's also what it looks like with shaders. Uh, for reference, the shaders that I'm using is BSL shaders. You can download the mod and resource pack on Kokricot's website, which is linked in the description of this video. The mod adds a bunch of building blocks and furniture items. And what I really like is that you can actually sit on the chairs and couches as well as toggle the lights on and off. Um, but that's really as far as it goes. You can't sleep on the beds, unfortunately but that might not really matter because this mod works best in creative mode since you can't craft any of the blocks or items. On TikTok, people were a little confused when I explained the style as vintage European aesthetic, which is understandable since Europe has many different countries with many different architectural styles. But on the website, they say, quote, we have a variety of antique and vintage sundries and building materials that are designed to create a European cityscape, a cafe, and so on. Kokricot is good at interior design and you can make a room look like a Parisian apartment. I referenced Parisian architecture, but I noticed the mod includes many other influences across Europe. For example, the Tudor house blocks. This style originates from England and is also popular in German architecture, but since it's Minecraft, you can really build whatever you want. This mod is versatile blockwise, and I've seen people build like all kinds of things. Let's go over everything you'll need to download for this mod. So next to the download buttons, there's a start guide, which gives you a rundown of all the things you'll need and how to download them. And if you scroll further, you'll see a list of all the optimal settings for your game as well. And I recommend looking through that after you've downloaded everything. The things you'll need to download are Forge. This mod was made for Forge and only works with Forge as far as I know and have seen. So if you use Fabric, I am very sorry. Optifine. Optifine has a really cool thing called Connected Textures, or CTM for short. It matches block types together, making them look unified, and this is really helpful when building pillars and really adds more detail to your builds. Just enough IDs. This mod makes the ID limit of 1.12 infinite. Some people on TikTok were commenting on how they don't have access to all the items that the mod has, and that's because they probably needed to download this mod for the items to show up. 1.12 is a different block ID limit than 1.13 and so on, and this mod basically makes it more compatible like the future versions. Kokricot mod, this one's kind of obvious. <laughs> and lastly, Kokricot resource pack. Just to note, the resource pack is absolutely required when using the mod, otherwise your game will look like this and I don't think that would look very nice if you were trying to build or just play the game in general. If you run into any problems or have any questions, there's an FAQ page on the Kokricot website that can help you with that. Now that I've told you everything I know, let's get to building. My plan is to add on to this build that I started a few weeks ago, and I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with that Parisian architectural style since it's kind of the vibe here, but I definitely wanna put a shop on the lower half as well as two apartments on the upper half. Now, starting off with picking the color palette for this build, I wanted to do more neutral colors, and I also wanted to do something that wasn't too similar to the other two buildings, but not too different, if that makes sense. <laughs> I, um, I wanted to have a separation between the lower half and the upper half, like I did with the um, building on the left. The bottom half is like green, upper half is white. And as you can see, I decided to go with the stone block set, which is actually from vanilla Minecraft. I just really like how it looks with the resource pack. And I wanted to have pillars in this build because it really helps with the architecture and breaking up the build into shapes. For the kind of accent, I chose black, so we have some black doors. Something I really like about this mod is they have a huge selection of doors, which it's so nice. <laughs> and I really love that there's doors that are three blocks tall, because usually when I'm building in vanilla Minecraft, I just put a trap door above the doorway kind of just make it seem taller, but I, yeah, I went with that and I really love it. I really like the doorway. It started 
giving me like a more regal look and then i went with white for the upper half of the building because i i don't know i just wanted to use white <laughs> uh, i did use white in the building next to it and i was a little worried that that would look too same samey but um it didn't in the end i felt like it was just enough contrast uh, it looks like it's a really fancy place i mean it, all of it looks pretty fancy because the parisian architecture but i feel like this one specifically with especially with the black and white it feels kind of like i don't know it looks like a business there are these really nice window frame blocks that are in the mod you can put it around windows like i'm doing now or you can put it over doorways or really kind of just go crazy with it that's kind of like what i did i used it on the windows like you're supposed to but i also went with the doorway and i really like how that looks it adds some more dimension to the building and it doesn't make it feel as flat which also the texture pack does the same as well it just adds this extra dimension that is much needed when doing more detailed buildings like this one thing about the frames on these is they're kind of difficult to place. I kind of struggled with the doorway especially because if you misplace it, it'll go in a completely different direction. So I ended up breaking the doors, putting some blocks down and then placing the archway and that made it like a million times easier. I also changed the frames on the windows in the first level to black. And with the roof, I really like the slanted roof blocks for this. It looks good to me. It feels right when you're building with them. My only issue is that they don't fully line up with a block. You can see on the edge there, which for this doesn't really matter because they're like connected to each other. But to me, it annoys me, <laughs> especially if you're doing a very specific kind of roof that kind of becomes more prevalent in those builds. But now we're working on the inside and the thing you can see from this once you kind of go around the corner of these buildings it's just like the bare bones of it my plan is to build a kind of whole block of these buildings and it'll kind of wrap around so it'll end up kind of covering itself that makes sense i don't know i have a vision okay <laughs> For the inside, I ended up going with this kind of molded block. I don't remember what it's called exactly, but it has a very nice texture on it. And I went with the tile flooring for this. This is me deciding between the two tile blocks and I ended up going with one on the left, as you can tell. What you don't see later on after I fill this flooring is that I raise it up a level. And that's because I think it just looked better in my opinion. And I thought maybe that would kind of help with the space a bit. Um, but I really liked the detail on the black blocks, especially. Um, I ended up adding more sidewalk since you kind of need a sidewalk in a city, you know. And I also added this detail under the front of the building with the stone. And I filled the second and third floor, extending the pillars forward a bit because the way I made the building leaves a bit of stone blocks to kind of show up. So I covered that up and then I ended up building the rest of the ground and everything. And something that I really like about this mod is they have wallpaper textures and it looks so good. I used a flower texture on the building next to this one and I didn't want to use the same one, although I love it so much. So I ended up going with this black and white pattern, which worked out perfectly because, you know, the whole black and white vibe. To me, they kind of look like anchors. I don't know if that's what they are though. I don't know if it even is like a specific texture. That was the whole building done. That was everything. <laughs> so now I can tell you guys what my plan was for the inside. After doing all the building, Thing and using this black and white color palette with the stone details, I decided that this kind of looks like a bank and I've never built a bank before, <laughs> which it's, it's a weird, it's a weird building to make in Minecraft because it's like none of this furniture works with it, which is just brilliant of me to choose for the showcase. But, um, thought, why don't I test myself and see how I can do this? I put some cabinets up. I put a nice fancy painting up because this is, this is a fancy bank. And then I added this glass wall as like a divider, which you usually see in banks. Um, and then I added like an iron door, which is just vanilla Minecraft. And then I just added like extra little details. I really love the old rotary phone. I actually used to have an old rotary phone when I was little, like a genuine vintage one that my mom had. And it was really fun <laughs> to just spin the buttons around. And I love the sounds that it made and then i ended up making a walkway in the back that would go up to the apartments which i don't know how much sense this makes <laughs> so hopefully the people that work there are the ones who live there because the doorway has to is 
like in the back behind the counter. <laughs> so I just, you know, <laughs> I just did that because it worked. I added a little stairway and I thought it looked really cute. And then I just added the doors and they have some really cute signs in the game that I use as like apartment number plates and then we went with the first apartment on the second floor started decorating that one i ended up replacing the back wall with like a stucco concrete texture i felt like that just made more sense because i don't think anyone wants wallpaper in their kitchen especially if it's like you know if you're cooking and there's condensation and the wallpaper starts peeling Ugh, okay no <laughs> but this one i picture this person who lives here to be like a minimalist so they don't really have too much. They just have their essentials. Um, maybe they, they probably work at the bank or maybe they even own the bank. I don't know. I feel like if they owned the bank, they wouldn't be living in an apartment. But I added like a rug, which they have round rugs in this mod as well as like this animal hide rug. I really like the rounded rugs because you can make the circle as big as you need to. Also, I love the beds so much. The beds are just so good. They genuinely feel like a real bed, whereas the Minecraft beds can sometimes seem like... I don't know, they just don't seem as cozy. <laughs> but these beds, you can choose the bed frame, the mattress pattern, as well as the pillows. And those are all three separate blocks and it's it's great. There's so many different choices and like mixing and matching to do. And that's like a level of detail that I really like. I didn't really like stress myself out too much on how much detail would be in here because again, this person's very minimalist. No color, all black and white. And for the second floor, I ended up going with white for the kitchen details and I went with a more like natural blue details like this person travels and they like to you know they want to see the world and maybe they I don't know <laughs> they really like plants I put a lot of plants in here I gave it kind of it's kind of got like a beachy vibe to it honestly uh there's some really cute hanging plants that I put in here. They have a little record player. The record players are my absolute favorite. They are just, they're so freaking cute. Um, you, I wish you could play music on them. I wish you could actually play music on them. But yeah, I, I went with kind of the opposite of the black and white where it's like more white and blues. Uh, again, this wallpaper really went with all of my choices. So I didn't really worry too much about that. Also the kind of wicker lamp I hung up above the fireplace looks exactly like that Ikea lamp, which I don't know if it's specifically based off the Ikea lamp or if there's a design that the Ikea lamp was based off of as well, but I, I love it. I love it so much. Everything in this mod is very cute. That's everything. Here's the reveal. I really enjoyed building this. It was surprisingly quick for a build, but I guess I didn't have to build every single angle of the building as well. Uh, in all seriousness, I really like this. I think this mod is perfect. Perfectly captures this Parisian vibe. The furniture is the furniture just like so many choices i love having so many different choices to choose from for like chairs beds couches it definitely is at a point where it almost doesn't feel like minecraft and i don't mean that in a bad way i mean like if you want to build and you want to be more detailed I, I absolutely recommend you get this mod but yeah that was that's been my review of kokrikot links in the description for this mod and if you are interested in seeing me do more build videos like this uh, it could be modded it could be unmodded but really it could just like me chilling talking building whatever let me know what you want to see and i can make more videos thank you guys for all the support on that on my tiktok it's like kind of crazy to me because i'm not i'm not i'm not used to that so <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's also subscribed as well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I promise to post more videos on here because I've been enjoying making and editing videos recently. So that's been really fun. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.